you really want to change your life, you have to let yourself go. You have to let go of the identity that's not truly yours. You have to let go of these people from the past, these situations from the past, because it's no longer important. Your true identity, what you really need, who you really are, is going to come from you embracing chaos, from you allowing change to happen, because through change, our true identity is shown. You know how we've been taught certain things about um, certain ways of life or about certain people or about certain music or whatever it is, and then when you actually experience it for yourself, you're like, well, this this is not what I was taught. They, they told me this was evil or they told me this was bad, but I like it. Right. Because you you're attaining your own experiences. So you are shaping your own reality by getting your own experiences. And at first it's uncomfortable. Things are uncomfortable. It's just like a snake. A snake grows into a skin and it gets really comfortable. And then as it grows, it has to shed this skin and it has to rub against these things. For us, it's like rubbing against these experiences and going through certain things that help us break the mold of our old self. But if you never take that that journey to do those things and you're going to have that old skin laying around you and it's going to itch it's going to be irritating and it's going to be uncomfortable and you, you just have to allow things to happen water teaches us a lot bruce lee said it best you know you put water into a cup it becomes a cup you put it into a teapot it becomes a teapot water is still water whether it come from the ocean whether it come from the sky it doesn't matter water doesn't forget that it's water water does not forget the lessons that it's been taught but it changes based on its environment. You are a product of your environment. But the thing is, you can change your environment. And your environment starts here. It starts with your mind. Your, your growth and your destruction starts with your thoughts. Because what you think essentially, comes, essentially becomes what you do. And what you do will shape your reality. So the programs you've been taught as a child, as a young adult, whatever it is, you have to abandon those things that don't resonate with who you want to be. If you want to be the best version of yourself, you have to understand that for one, that is a thought. You will never become the best version of yourself. But as long as you strive for that every day, you will be better than your old self every day. It's merely a, it's like a dream, you know, it's, it's a, a vision. You have to keep chasing that. And while you're chasing that, you're going to be setting a standard for yourself every day. If you strive to be the best version of yourself every day and you're better than your old self every day, then you're setting a standard that is getting higher every day, every day, every day. And you have to keep progressing and you have to keep moving. But that is only possible if you allow things to change. If you hold on to the same things, you're going to keep going into that revolving door that just you know, never stops. You know how you go through these things and it feels like you always end up in the same place or in, in the same situation, but a different time where that could be relationships. That could be just life in general. I'm at a crossroads right now in my life where so many things are changing so fast, but those emotions in that last part of my old self is trying to cling on to me. So it's bringing up things that hurt me in the past. It's bringing up you know, little little habits and things. I'm getting certain triggers. It's trying to pull me back into that loop, and it's just a test. Because when you when you moving past these things and you're on this journey to become the best version of yourself and to become successful and whatever that is, you're gonna get these tests. And these tests are just they're just tests. They're just trying to see if you are worthy of taking on this this new role, this new journey in life, this new level. And you have to be ready for those things. You have to understand where they're coming from. It's just you wanting to be comfortable. This month was probably my, I'm not going to say worst month, but I've, I've had better months, you know, mentally. Uh, financially, whatever the case may be. I made some purchases this month. I bought a, a new car this month. Um, I left my nine to five this month. So all these things that are coming up, they are, you know, outside of my comfort zone. I'm taking on new risk, but no risk, no reward. But as I'm taking on these new risks, now I'm battling with these past traumas and I'm battling with these ideas and these emotions and all these things that make me uncomfortable which will be very, it will be very easy right now for me to lay down and just quit. But I refuse because I know right on the other side of this little period of time, there's something much more beautiful and I've already had a glimpse of it. So I, I, I can't allow myself to go back 
because I, I, I don't want to miss out on the experiences. I've been on that side where you get a taste of freedom and then you allow all that time and all that idle, idle time and energy to be taken over by emotions and just the past in general. You being afraid of change and you not allowing things to happen for you. When if you just sit there and accept the things that have happened and you stay in the present moment and you continue to move forward and you focus on what's important, everything gets better. But somehow it's just so easy to be stuck on nothing. We have a great habit at it because it's just so comfortable. But you got to go outside of your comfort zone. You got to step outside of the norm. If you really want to grow in your life, you have to set your own programs. You have to set your own systems and you have to stay consistent to those systems. Because if you don't, nothing is ever going to change. No matter how talented it are, no matter what opportunities you get, no matter how well life is treating you, if you don't do anything and if you don't stay consistent, nothing is going to happen. And that's just the way life is. But it's all about moving forward and it's all about building that proper mind to take on these challenges. A lot of the times when we own these journeys, we um, we get addicted to certain things like most people quit because they are too focused on the end result or they're too focused on the beginning. You, you know how you start to go to the gym or you start to do something good for yourself and that first day of doing it, it just feels so good. And then after a few days, that little high wears off. And you got some people, they're like, oh, man, I want to be rich and famous. And I want to be this and I want to be that. And they just thinking about the end goal. So when things start to get hard in the beginning, they just quit because their minds are elsewhere. But once you realize that there's a beginning and end of every day, every day is a new opportunity. Every day is an opportunity for change. Every day is the beginning of a new journey. Every day is the end of a new journey. The things that you want, you have to become that. That's how you manifest those things. Everything that you are seeing right now, I have already manifested it. I already had it. Like I say, you have everything you want in life. Life is just late. But the only way to get those things is to dish out the old identity that you were prescribed. That is not you. You were taught to be who you are, but that's not who you are. You have to find who you are. That's why life is about experiences. That's why they tell you, try more things, try new foods. You know, we a lot of our, a lot of the things that we like are not because we truly like them. There used to be music that I listened to because I listened to just because people did. There were clothes that I liked because other people did. There was things that I did because other people did. And then when I started to experience things from my for myself, my taste in music, my taste in colors, my taste in art, just my taste in everything was much more broad and it was much more true to me because it was for me. I dished out that old identity. I allowed myself to change. And yes, these changes are uncomfortable, but that is the only way to move forward. You got to keep shedding. You got to just keep moving. You got to you got to let go. You just have to move forward and you just have to stay present in the moment. You can't get caught up on the past and you can't get caught up on things that have not happened. And make sure during this journey that you never settle for anything below what you want. You have your goals, you have your standards, and nothing in your life is going to be below that. If you say that no one's going to disrespect you, make sure that everybody that disrespects you is, is notified. Don't disrespect me. I won't tolerate that. I don't appreciate the way you're talking to me. If you don't want to work for somebody for the rest of your life, set a deadline and make the deal. By the time I'm 30, I don't want to work for anyone. The more confidence you have in yourself, the, the, the shorter that deadline will be. But don't let time fool you. That's why I say just stay present in the moment. Be better every day. Every day you're working towards that goal. You don't have to put no time on it. Now, if you need some some time to put a little fire under your feet, hey, by all means do that. But don't settle for nothing while you're changing. Understand where you need to change and be open to it. Because without change, we are nothing. But it's all about you accepting it. It's all about you letting yourself go. 
And you know what's holding you back. I know what's holding me back. There's things that I could be doing right now that could, um, you know, wipe wipe away some of those things. And I just have to do a better job at accepting that and just letting go. I have to do a better job at, you know, stop to stop referencing, referencing certain people and letting my emotions be attached to certain things. Like I mentioned early in the video, I have many times in these last few days to go down those rabbit holes, but I choose not to entertain those things. Many things are going to come into your life. Many things are going to creep into your mind. But it's up to you to entertain those things. You don't have to. So don't. If it's not good for you, if it's not fulfilling you, if it's not healing you, don't invest in it. And if you have to invest in it to survive, always be putting more eggs in your basket. If it is your goal and it is your dream to build your own business, go go do your nine to five. Get your money. Get your money for your funding. But always be putting more eggs back into your basket. If it is your dream to have the most beautiful relationship in the world, heal yourself. Fix yourself. Become the person that you would want to spend the rest of your life with. Let go of all your past traumas. Let go of all the things that happened to you. That doesn't mean you don't take the lessons with them. You always take the lessons with them. But don't allow the past to hold you back. Don't allow the past to stop you from changing. You deserve better, but you got to allow better to come to you. You have to allow yourself to accept better. Better has come to you many times. You are better. But do you want to be? Are you comfortable with letting go of those things? Are you comfortable with letting go of those people? Are you comfortable with letting go of the past? But if you want to change, my friend, it's not going to be comfortable. But when you do change, it's a beautiful thing. It's all about what you want. And how you going to get it? It is a privilege to be here. We get to live. We get to breathe. We get to experience. I know things aren't always the best. But that's why it's beautiful. There's no up without down. There's no left without right. There's no good without bad. There's no day without night. It's just life. But if you don't accept those things, if you don't accept the equal and opposite reaction, there's no way to appreciate what's bound to happen. So. So. If you're watching this right now, if you made it this far, I challenge you to let go of yourself, let go of your past, keep those lessons, appreciate those experiences, but free yourself, free your mind from what has already passed, or better yet, from what you have already left behind. Let it go, cut those strings, start flying start elevating start running gracefully and freely into the new path that you deserve because it's long overdue but you just didn't want to change so I'm challenging you starting today starting now Make those changes. If you want to go on a diet, start right now. If you want to start back going to the gym, start right now. If you want to start reading and writing more, start right now. If you want to start a YouTube, start right now. What if I were to continue to wait? What if I were to continue to wait? What if I were to continue?